President Tsai on Wednesday joined the Indo-Pacific Leaders Dialogue, a virtual forum held by the Australian Strategic Policy Institute think tank. Fielding questions from the participants, Tsai reiterated that the people of Taiwan would not accept China's one country, two systems framework and that the future of Taiwan would be decided by its people. The president also said she hoped Beijing would continue to exercise restraint in the region. She expressed her gratitude to Australia for standing with Taiwan and voiced hope for further collaboration in the future. Beijing's formulation of one China is, in essence, one country, two systems. This is not accessible to the people of Taiwan. President Tsai joined the Indo-Pacific Leaders Dialogue session held by teleconference by the Australian Strategic Policy Institute. Tsai was asked whether Taiwan was pursuing independence and whether there was room for unification with China. Taiwan, our existence since cannot be questioned, cannot be. none of which have ever been under Beijing's jurisdiction. I also want to emphasize that the future of Taiwan is to be decided by the people of Taiwan. I will continue to uphold four principles in terms of cross-strait relations. That is peace, parity, democracy and dialogue. Tsai said the international community had been closely following China's movements in the region. From the passing of the national security law for Hong Kong to the rise of military activity and provocations in the South China Sea. There continue to be significant concerns over the potential for accidents, given increased military activity in the region. The risk of conflict requires careful management by all the parties concerned. We expect and hope that Beijing will continue to exercise restraints, consistent with their obligations as a major regional power. University of Tasmania lecturer Mark Harrison also spoke in the teleconference. Sharp-eyed viewers noticed the bookcase behind him had a campaign banner of Tsai with lawmaker Freddie Lim. For many, it was a sign that Taiwan was not alone in standing up against Beijing.